Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are back on the Lone Ranger series here, guys. Um, yeah, we are going today to attempt to tame ourselves a Parasaur. Um, one of these two. I would probably honestly be better off trying to tame the level 40 since it is uh, so much lower of a level I'm more likely to be able to tame it since all I have is a slingshot at the moment and a few thatch structures I can maybe use as a trap. Um, but that's pretty iffy. So I may go ahead and try to use the trap on the 110 and if it doesn't work we'll go after the 40 and hopefully Hopefully that will actually get us a tame today because I definitely think we need to tame something to get some rock carrots going so that we can get ourselves our very first horse. Um, and I'm actually going to call Parasaurs pack mules from now on because that's kind of what they are to me. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a shot guys. I have no idea. Actually wait, wait. I should probably play this smart, not waste time because I have about 15 seconds once that bola breaks to get myself... Uh, get myself these items lined up correctly. Alright. Cool. So, let's go ahead and follow this guy over here. Alright. I have no idea if this is gonna work. None at all. Nope. Nope. Alright. Well, it would be great if I could snap this somewhere. This is not going to work. I did not have quite enough foundations. Um, can I snap this? No, no. Okay. Up, up. This is not quite going to work, which is a big sad. I was hoping to kind of trap him um, in this area. That's not where I want that. Uh, actually, can I make another foundation? No, I need thatch and fiber. This is a big rip. I don't think I'll be able to do this because we have, like, a gaping hole here um, in this foundation. Dang it. I need fiber and thatch. I'm just a little short. If he happens to stay there, <laughs> we might be okay. I seriously doubt it. Um, the main reason I need a trap for a parasaur, guys, is because uh, I have to use a slingshot to tame it right now. And they're pretty fast, and I kind of didn't want them to get away. I need fiber. Of course I need fiber. I hate fiber, man. Fiber is the worst possible thing to need at this stage of the game. Especially since you have to do it by hand. Oh my gosh. Give me a fiber. Just one. There we go. Stay, 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 stay. Because if I can place this here, then I can place this. Wait, wait. Oh man, I got so lucky. I got so lucky. I definitely should have used one more, um, should have had one more foundation ready but I can't believe this actually worked. So he's he's pretty well stuck there, um, which is fantastic for us. So let's go ahead and go back over to my chicken here because I do have some rocks in the mortar and pestle um, that I'm going to use to tame this guy up. He should stay relatively stuck there for a moment. So he should be okay. All right. Um, there we go. Yeah, I have, I have a ton of rocks that I got. I came as prepared as I could be for this thing. Um... Yeah, so seven foundations and like seven uh, seven door frames should be enough to do this kind of a thing, which is absolutely fantastic. It's going to be super useful. Um, all right, let's go ahead and equip this as well because we're probably going to have to switch back and forth. And let's see if we can tame this Parasaur. Uh, I'm hoping we can get it down. He is unfortunately a little bit buggy. There we go. I just want to keep popping him in the head. All right, hopefully this works. Hopefully this actually works. I really hope this Parasaur doesn't actually die on me. Um, it could take quite a few shots here in the head to get him to actually go down. Um, but he is pretty stuck, so we might be okay. That was a complete miss for whatever reason. Man, the auto-aim is like not super doing me any favors with this setup, but it is what it is. Can you go down? I would really appreciate it if you didn't die. Would really appreciate it if you didn't die, Mr. Parasaur friend. Alright. If I have to, I can try to make a club. Um, yes! Oh, 
Beautiful. Okay, so that worked out a lot better than I thought it might. Um, there we go, guys. Parasaur down. That is fantastic. So he's not the best Parasaur in the world by any means, but he's definitely decent, and I think we'll be able to gather rock carrots with him, which is all I super care about. Um, I also have been watching some Amber ads, so I am equipped here to get myself a Minor Soothing Bomb, which I am going to do just to save a little bit of time here for this Parasaur. All right, let's go ahead and use this on him, and then give him, give him the major berries. Beautiful. All right, guys. So this is gonna, still gonna take a little bit of time. So um, I will go ahead and babysit this guy, and I will bring you guys back in a few minutes when our parasaur is up and we are ready to uh, basically start going around collecting rock carrots, and then hopefully finding uh, finding that equus that was over that away earlier, and uh, taming that. All right, so I will see you guys in just a little bit here. All right, guys, so we are back. Our Parasaur is up. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm actually super impressed that this trap worked at all. Um, yeah, like I said, I think we got super lucky with this. So I'm actually going to leave this Parasaur, this pack mule here for a minute. And uh, let's go back over to the chicken again because I do have some hides stashed up over this direction. Um, and I think I have enough here to make an actual Parasaur saddle, hopefully. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, we did make it to level 9. Perfect. Oh no, we have to be level 10. Dang it. Okay. Well, that's alright. I'm going to do a little bit of leveling here. Um, just grabbing some stuff. Uh, thank you for the chicken egg. That is perfect. Alright. Numb. Breakfast. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, uh, yeah, big bummer. I can't quite make the saddle yet. Let's actually go ahead and destroy the structures around the Parasaur then. Um, I don't think it will gather stuff on Wander for me, but we can reuse these structures. I will just craft a little bit more. Hopefully that will, uh, hopefully that will actually get us some sort of XP going. As you can see, I do get a little bit of materials back on this game, which is great. Not the most useful thing in the world, but it does help a little bit. Um, and we can still use the Parasaur as a pack mule, which is fantastic. I'm actually going to name him that. Let's go ahead and name him. All right. It's going to be a uh, pack mule. That's your name now, just so you know. All right, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get that level for that saddle. Um, and I guess I'll bring you guys back when we get it. All right. I'll see you in a little bit here. All right, so uh, we have finally made a saddle for our pack mule here. Um, all I did really was do the uh, take a nap pursuit, which pretty much gave me just as much XP as I needed to actually get to that level 10 and uh, go ahead and hop on the Parasaur here. So nice. Uh, we've got it. We've got our pack mule. So the goal now is to get a lot of carrots, guys. Now, while I was... Um, kind of wandering around doing some of this stuff. Uh, what we did get from one of our free gifts was, let me see if it's in here. Not there. Not there. Nope. I think it's on the uh, chicken. Um, we did get a soothing bomb. So that is super useful. So we will be using that on the Equus, um, hopefully when we can get over there. So let's go ahead and just gather up as much as we can. Now, this is not where we get carrots. We get carrots from these fern plants here. All right, that's two. Basically going to harvest as many of these as I can in this area. Um, and hopefully we can get a good stack. I'm thinking something like 20 carrots ought to be enough to get us, um, get us started here. So hopefully we can gather that many carrots in a small amount of time. But it could be tricky. It could very well be tricky. Hello, trike. I would rather not hit you. Um, I'm going to call those buffalo. Hello, buffalo. Can you get out of the way? There we go. I'd rather not mess with the buffalo. They're pretty strong, and they will come after you. Okay. Uh, there's another one over here. Yeah, this is going to take quite a bit of time here, but we are getting a decent amount of rock carrots already. Got six of them. Um, hopefully, if we find... <laughs> hopefully, the equus is like a really low level. That's kind of the goal here. All right, um, because if they are a low enough level, we should be okay. All right, that's got to be like seven. Oh, man. This is, uh, it's a bit of a grind. It's not quite as good as with, um, 
with the actual buffalo over there. They're a little bit better at gathering rock carrots, but a parasaur will get the job done, and it's something we can get relatively early, early on. So a pack mule, not a bad idea for the early game here. All right, we're going to have to, like, wander pretty far down this way, though. How many do we have? We're getting there. Eleven. Perfect. Okay, so a little bit more. Just a little bit more, and then we should be all set. Oh, man, I'm glad there's a lot of these plants in this area. Definitely makes my life a little easier. Can we actually hit the plant? There we go. Almost. Almost. Oh, we're so close. Uh, let's see if we can actually get this one. Got it. All right. This one? You gotta aim just perfectly right. Okay, 17. So we really need like three more, and then I will feel comfortable going to look at, um, look at a horse. I would like to have a little bit more than that, but if it's a low enough level with a 10x bomb, I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's go ahead and search up a little more. Yep. There we go. How many do we got? 20. Perfect. All right, so since we're over here and since there are a few more of these, I'm going to go ahead and just smack a few more of these bushes um, in this little circle area here. Just to be on the safe side, never hurts to have a couple extra. Can we... There we go. Worth it. Got two carrots out of it. All right. Perfect. I was able to get, like, five extra. Um, <laughs> five extra bushes here, which is no bad thing when you're trying to tame an equus at such a low level. can be very tricky. The horses are spooky. I'm not even sure we'll be able to properly sneak up to it, so that is going to be a challenge. But we're definitely going to do our best here, because uh, I think... A cowboy needs his horse. Um, so that's basically what we got to keep in mind here as we're going through all this. All right, let's go ahead and head back, um, pick up our soothing bomb, and then head over to hopefully the area where the equus actually are, and we can get ourselves uh, get ourselves a little horse here. All right. Um, parasaurs are super, super slow. Pack mules are not known for being quick, but that's okay. They were really... It served its purpose, essentially. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, with how this has gone. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it actually was to get this thing tamed up um, and get those carrots, especially since we don't have trank arrows yet, and that's kind of usually what I wait for to start really taming stuff. Um, but I'm actually pretty impressed. I think we've done quite well so far. All right, let's go ahead and grab you. Yeah, I see ya. All right, let's run down this way see what we can see. I'm actually going to go ahead right now and put the soothing bomb on my hot bar. The carrots I'm going to leave on the parasaur until we can kind of check out um, the equus. I have no idea what level it's going to be. Not sure we'll even be able to get close, but we'll try. Can I grab that? Just while we're here. Does not hurt to have extras. I trust nothing. We could encounter a super, super high-level uh, horse over here, which would be great if we could actually get it tamed. So I don't want to mess up and waste the opportunity if we don't have to. Um, okay, so there's the low-level parasaur. Another one of these. These ferns, they're everywhere, and I love it. Okay. All right, so this is the area where the, the horse actually was. So let's see if we can kind of sneak down here. Hopefully we don't run into anything like a raptor. That would be bad news. Okay, so there are two horses here. There are two horses. Um, oh, man. I'm going to go ahead and grab these carrots now. We have we have quite a few. I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Let's see if we can just get kind of close. This is where I wish I had a spyglass to see what level these are. But you know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. What level is this orange one? Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to be fast enough to get close. That's the real trick. Um, I'd like to get one without spooking the other, because if we could get two early on, that would be fantastic. They're so much faster than I am. They are so, so much faster than I am. It's actually kind of terrible. Parasaur, could you not be in the way? Oop, oop, that equus is, like, right around here. What level are you? 40. Don't spook. Don't spook. Yes. Okay. So level 40. Really, really low level. I think that's actually perfect. Um, nope, 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 nope. Don't spook. 
All right, let's let's uh, let's see what the other one is. If we can, I would like to get up close to it without spooking it. Okay, it looks like a pretty, like a relatively okay-ish area. Um, there's not a whole lot of bad stuff here. Actually, a couple of Ankies. Don't see me. All right, I'd like to come up right behind you and just see what level you are. Level 30. All right, so we're going to use the Soothing Bomb on the level 40. Um... <laughs> Man, hopefully we actually get this. This is going to be a real trick. I have no idea if this is actually going to work. I just need to get a soothing bomb on it and then uh, come up to it with a carrot. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. You don't see me. You don't see me. It's not a thing. I'm invisible. Nope, 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 nope. Yep, there you go. I'm actually impressed that I have not spooked it yet. Very impressed that I've not spooked it yet, honestly. Being 100% honest, I don't want to waste this bomb. Yes, okay, we bombed it, um, which is great. Let's retreat so I can put the carrots on my hotbar without spooking him. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if it's a male or a female, and I don't care. I know it's a super low level, guys, but this equus means everything to me at this point. Uh, we just need a horse to really get started here. If I can just sneak up to it and get a carrot on it, I think we'll be okay. Okay, okay, okay. Don't spook it, don't spook it. All right. I'm going to stand back and watch the, for that hunger single, signal that it goes off. Um, oh, man. <laughs> this is great. This is actually great. Uh, so it's going to take three carrots to tame this thing at this point. Um, hopefully we can get this. If we do get this one, I'm also going to go for the other one because it would be good to have two of these guys. Um yeah, I'm so excited. And then we can start really moving around once we get a couple of horses. We'll be a little bit more mobile. Um, not ideal having only two and having them be such low levels, but you know what? They are a dang good start compared to having no horse at all. Um, they're gonna, they're just basically going to make our lives a lot easier. So let's just keep going at it. Um, all right. Got to keep a good distance on this guy. All right, here we go. Should get hungry pretty quickly here. He's such a low level. Come on. Only three carrots. That's all it's going to take. I just need to be able to do this three times. <laughs> oh, man. Taming that Parasaur was definitely a good call. I would never have been able to get enough carrots to do this otherwise. Even with, uh, even with the Soothing Bomb, it's... It's still um, a little bit tricky to get three carrots that don't spoil on you fast enough to do this. So I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. Yeah, you don't want to look at me. You really don't want to look at me. I'm going to sneak over this away by the Gallimimus and just watch you. Get hungry, please. Oh, man. I cannot believe this, too. This is, like, such good luck getting uh, getting a little pony here on the first, uh, basically, first couple of episodes. It's it's amazing. Hopefully, we actually manage it and don't flub it up here. Come on. I'd rather not uh, fat finger it and end up, with, um, end up with no horse at all because he's spooked. That would be terrible. I don't even know if it's male or female, and I honestly don't care. I just want the horse. Can you please get hungry? Before something bad spawns in, can you please get hungry? So that we can tame you. There it is. Oh, he's in the water. That's a bad place to be. Uh, don't turn. Nope, nope, nope. He's gonna turn. Oh, man. Tricky. Great, great. Is he gonna come back? Alright, I have to be super careful over here. I want to get closer, but I really don't want to spook him. Come on, the rocks are terrible for this. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to eat the rock carrot. No, 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 no. Oh, parasaurs, please. They're in the way. Oh, no. Now there's both of them. No, don't spook. Don't spook. Don't spook. Get out of the way. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is so nerve-wracking. Okay. I just need to, like, go straight up behind him. No! Dang it! I hit the wrong button. <sighs> Heck. Okay, now I kind of got to wait for him to stop running. He might run straight into the ocean. Dang it. 
All right, I gotta follow him around and wait for him to stop running, which I may not be fast enough to do. There's too many other creatures here. This is super difficult without Gilly. Um, I just got too close to him. I knew it was gonna happen. Huge bummer. I wonder if I can just like run up and get on you. Nope. I'm not gonna be able to hop on. Can I? Yes! Alright, I was able to hop on and like make it happen. A bit of a mess, but um, we managed it, guys. Okay. I was trying to do the passive tame, but this worked out okay. Alright, we've got ourselves our very first horse. It is a female. Um, level 59, which is great. You know what? I'm happy with it. I'm super happy with it. Uh, let's go see if we can get close to that other horse as well. I gotta figure out where I left the, uh, the pack mule, too, because I don't want to go without the pack mule for a moment. It is still super useful to us. There we go. Pack mule. All right, guys, and we are going to need a fantastic name for our horse friend here, so do let me know if you have any name suggestions for this particular horse. Um, and okay, let's go ahead and see if we can't get the other one. It did spook, but if I can just run up to it and get on, um, that would be ideal. Did it spook and go somewhere far away? That would be not so great. Um, all right, gotta be super careful in this area. I'm not seeing it. I'm really not seeing the horse and it does look like there's a Carno over there. I wanna be super careful. Baryonyx and a Sarko or an Iguanodon and a Sarko. Can't tell from this distance. All right, I don't know that the white horse is still here, which is a big bummer. Oh, there he is. All right, yeah, he went all the way over there. We might be able to get over there, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Let's go ahead and take the horse and see if we can get over there. Because if I can get both of them, I would like to. But I would rather, uh, I would rather not lose... Rather not lose the horse at this point in time. Alright, I'll grab that as well, because it never hurts to have a few extra carrots. Alright, there's too many things in this area, not gonna lie. Alright, and this is definitely a nice, uh, slow horse, honestly. Um, dang, I don't know if we can do this without, like, being in big trouble. But we're gonna try to get over this way. Ford the waters here. Okay, we're okay. Awesome. That worked out better than I thought. Uh, there is that Carno up there. Please don't chase it off the cliff. Please don't chase it off the cliff. Oh, great. Okay. And there's another Carno down there. We might have to leave that horse to his fate. I don't think we're going to be able to rescue him from this area. Um, I want to try, but I don't think it's worth the risk, guys. I really don't. I do not want to lose the horse that we already have for that one. And he's just being a derp, not running away. If he can get him scared, maybe. There we go. Yeah, chase the horse back across the water. That's great. No, that's a dead horse. That's a very dead horse. He's going into a rock. Okay. Well, let's go back. Um, <laughs> let's go back and pick up the pack mule and the chicken. Because you know what? We, we have done about as good as we can possibly hope to do under the circumstances. I'm still just really, really happy that we managed to get a horse at all. So, um... Yeah, we're in pretty good shape here to to start heading out and uh, doing our cowboy thing, guys. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm super, super excited about it. All right, guys. So, um, I do actually think that that is going to do it for today's episode. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.